Morning guys, I'm currently now at the Double Tree Putrajaya. Basically, I'm here very early in the morning because uh, Isuzu have actually invited me to try out the new D Max. Without further ado, let's go. Actually, this uh, Isuzu D Max has been launched for quite some time, but currently they are launching the new versions of the D Max. Basically, it seems like they have added a lot of advanced features in this uh, new version. So I'm really looking forward to see what type of uh, new features that they have for this type of 4x4. Uh, okay, why we call new Isuzu D Max because this is the facelift model that we have launched just a few days back vehicle after that you go for your test ride and you have to go to the track for the ADAS experience the safety experience all right this is my car wow it's really nice hmm. let's set it up So the car is really comfortable when I sit on the seat it's really actually wrapping me on and I like leather seat because it's really not easy to get dirty and um, this is a really good uh, leather one and it doesn't really feel hot even though I sit for quite some time and the steering wheel is really nice I like how it actually feels when I'm holding it you know there's a lot of Traffic lights in Putrajaya, I wonder why. Is it because they have too many roads here? There's too many T-junctions and roundabout though. So whenever um, the car is passing by my car, so if there's any blind spot also, they will actually um, trigger us on the side mirror here. Which if it is on the left, then the side mirror left will have the um, lights up. And then, or if it is on the right, then it will be on the right. So this is a really good safety feature though because I'm really used to this because previously I do not have this sometimes I really miss the blind spot and nearly hit on others car and sometimes being horned by others as well and being scolded as usual the Malaysian way Oh yeah and if you can see Malaysian's road have always have a lot of bumpy roads a lot of holes on their roads I do not know why but we are famous on that but um, when I drive this car compared to uh, the normal conventional one, one it actually uh, doesn't feel very bumpy though it's just a very slight uh, how to say movement on the car it's like a shake, shake on the car is only so um, the lane uh, warning uh, assistance is really good especially when you are driving on a long way in the highway and sometimes you get sleepy and then uh, you actually move to into other people's lane then they will actually trigger you this is a really good um, actually functions that to have like, in all cars especially so if I actually turn to the left slightly a bit without you see that's the warning sound that they will give us so mm, it's really good especially when you are asleep and you you heard the alarm sound you will actually wakes up man There's a very bumpy roads, but the car is still really stable. It's much more better than some of the premium cars. The wet uh, wiper system, so you just have to pull the left side uh, stop and see the, where the water comes from for your wiper. This is a uh, it doesn't oh. waste water. It doesn't tempt up the 
Lala Boost Rider the Dab Dab Down it goes all onto your windscreen so you can press, uh, try the wiper and see the water comes out from the wiper instead of the bottom side wow this is really interesting hmm so if you talk about four wheel drive the actually the balancing uh, point is higher than the normal lower cars so normally we felt that the, when they move very fast on a turn then the balancing will be off but I realized that when I turn from the Putrajaya way up to the other highway the car seems like very stable though most probably it's because um, they have a much more better premium uh, body that um, they, they incorporated into this new version can you see when I do a big turn it doesn't actually swift a lot alright now I'm actually uh, cruising uh, without pressing any oil or brakes at the 90 km per hour it seems like it will actually maintains at the 90 km per hour speed you see they accelerate itself now and then when it's near to the front car it will actually break itself that, that is really interesting normally when we drive a cruise they will normally maintain the car at 90 km per hour but it doesn't actually break by itself so we will actually uh, maintain a distance between our car with the front car so you can see the distance here it's quite far away though so we, we can actually overview it in, and in case of anything happens then we can actually press on the brakes so now it actually drives by itself at 90 km per hour alright so now the car is actually uh, braking and I didn't press anything in it will stop by itself if the front car slows down or stops check this out <laughs> I think there's a driver in my car now <laughs> and I'm now at the limiter functions I'm setting it at 60 km per hour so now let's see how the limiter performs so uh, basically the speed limiter uh, being used for like for example you want to set a set limit so that you won't exceed that speed limit and to avoid yourself being um, actually caught and um, kena saman lah, of course so um, this speed limiter serves that purpose so whenever you just press the all button it will go up to the maximum speed limit that you set and then you will never go up again no matter how hard you try to press the all you will never go up more higher than the speed that you have already set so that's a, a good one especially when we go on our highways when we buy in kampong you know when sometimes we wanted to go back home so we are very excited and we keep on pressing the oil button it's because we want to go back home as soon as possible right so sometimes we forget about the speed limit or over exceeded the speed limit then the troubles comes you get a very big luncheon meat saman this function will be a very good one for us to actually use right we actually arrived at the uh, this is called the uh, where all the airplanes or helicopter stops area it's a very big uh, empty space i think they wanted us to try out other features of this uh, car so let's park our car and listen to the briefing first all right we are going to proceed to try out there's five stations here for us to test out this car so station one remote start parking eight tractions all right then i'll stop here in order to do the parking aid hang on uh, don't close first mm -hmm. in order for you to experience the 360 camera and the sensor we will uh, want you to do a parking so where the car is you need to reverse side parking to the ah okay box. understand then, okay understand. so i have to from here to reverse over there uh, la. reverse side parking okay, okay. taking our like, driving license again <laughs> 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 Alright, so the other feature is called uh, follow me home lights mm -hmm. So right now, nowadays cars, we don't need to off and on the lights anymore We just put to auto mm -hmm. So it will mm. auto detect oh, okay. okay Yeah And to activate follow me home lights uh, Why do we activate it? 
place is dark, mm. you're looking for something, you're trying to open the lock. So you can choose to activate because once you shut off your engine, your lights will be fully off. Mm -hmm. So to activate, just pull one time. You hear the sound, it's activated. Let's go to the front. So you look, the lights is on. And when you walk away, your, side, your car will auto lock. Mm-hmm, uh, understand. So when the side mirror closes, your car has auto lock. Okay. So this is the remote start. Yeah. So press one time of this and press long press. Wow. Okay, now I'm trying out the 360 degree car parking camera. So I should stop here. And then press reverse. So they asked me to not to look at the side mirror, which is quite hard leh. I'm not used to it, right? So it should be like ah, they will let me know the cone at the side there. All right. All right. Too much of something. It's not good. So. Actually the side here Use the sensor on your speedometer as well You can still go to the back Yes, you can still go until the sensor has already reached all fully orange You can still go Oh, okay Yep This is interesting though Okay, uh, my side parking is not that good as well But at least I managed to park into the box. Okay. Right? Let's proceed to the next one. Neutral. Release your brake. Right. So now you can you you see this arrow. Mm -hmm. It's basically to choose any setting here. Right? Oh. So you can we want to choose this function. What function? Oh this is okay. 2H. 2H. This is to show you just now well while it's you are driving right. on the on the highway, on the road, mm. you, on the default setting, mm. the car is on in 2H mode. Oh, okay. okay. So, now, what we want to simulate is basically you already stuck in a mud area or in a sand area where mm -hmm. the tires is slippery. Mm. There's no traction. Mm. Put your gear in neutral. So, what happened now? We will show you the tires behind is slippery. Okay, put your gear in D. T. Alright. Press the pedal. Press the pedal. So, what happened? The tire behind is slippery. Ah. Cannot move forward. Stop. Put your gear in neutral. Okay. There's a round knob button there. This to 4H. Change to 4H, 4 wheel drive. This is 4 wheel drive. What happened now? The car is distributing the power to all four tires equally. Oh, right. So normally we use in the gravel, in a, in a orchard, you know? Mm -hmm. Right? You can change from 2H while you are driving to 4H without stopping. Oh. As long as the speed not more than 100 km per hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we want to show to you that the front tire and the front tire and the back tire mm -hmm. got no traction. Put your gear in the and press your pedal. So both tires now slippery. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Stop. Put your gear in neutral. Now we are going to use another mode change to 4L and you look here this is 4 low range gear mm -hmm. where the tires behind is rotate is spin slowly oh okay, okay. this normally we use on the off road off okay all right now put the gear in the okay press some more 
Right, stop. Actually, if you give more power, you can come out already from oh, this problem. Okay. okay. But that's not what we want to show to you now. The new X turn have a new function, we call it a D flop. Mm -hmm. Okay? There's button, there's two button there, the second one. Okay, press for five seconds. Release. You see now? You see the center? Mm -hmm. That is the Excel. Mm -hmm. The Excel is already locking all the four tires. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is the beauty of the new Isuzu with a new function. Deep lock. Press your brake. Mm -hmm. Put your gear in D and release your brake. Whoa. That's the beauty of the new Isuzu. Hi, good. Welcome to station number two. This is the real cross traffic alert exercise. I think you saw the drill just now. Okay. So the idea is to have a car on your left and on your right, kind of blocking your view. So we see how the car assists you to come out safely on this kind of situation. Alright, so what I want you to do is just engage the river's gear but maintain your feet on the brake. Don't engage. I can hear the beep sound through the walkie also. Yes. So basically audio is giving you the beep sound, okay? Plus Visually, they will give you at the side mirror, flashing amber, and also on the speedometer, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, this time, maybe you will want to take note on your right side mirror as the traffic approach from your right, mm -hmm. okay? All right, engage river here now. All right. Trust me, trust the car. Oh, I'm very scared. So, if you want to 
feel more different, you press the power, the accelerator, push. So you can feel the difference. Oh Don't my god, I don't dare. Right, put your gear on me. Oh my god, this on is my scary. Count. Three, oh my god. Two, one, go, 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 go. Stop. I press all, but it doesn't move. See? Can you feel the difference? Right. Is there time for part that on your meter? I didn't realize. <laughs> right. Okay. Did you hear the sound? When it yes, comes? yes. Right. So, what happens when the car detects something in front of you? The car will cut the power. Oh, my God. So, the car doesn't go fast. Alright? So, the power will cut the power. So, the warning sign is actually pop out when you hit. So, they, they warning you before you hit. So, you manage to break before you hit. They say, you not enough time to break. You will hit with less impact. Less damage on your car or the car in front of you. Okay, got it? Three, two, eight, eight. On the number, emergency braking. So, this station will show how the car can emergency brake for you. For example, you are traveling to Penang for Chakwetiao. But on the highway, suddenly you are traveling 110 km an hour. Suddenly this car, this Miley, is only doing 80 km an hour. So that is danger because you are faster, it's slower, and we never realize. There's a chance for you to hit. The system in the car, there's a two camera, the two stereo camera will sense that there is a, 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 a danger. It'll give you a forward collision warning. Two ways. One is sound. Sound equals PPT. Second one is by light. There's a light on the dashboard. Red color flashing. First, when you see this warning, means there is danger in front. And uh, if we don't do anything, the system will break for us. Okay? And how we do this is, the red color d will move first, you go, and when you say go, you chase after the Miley. Chase after, as if you want to knock into the Miley. You want to knock. Then the warning will come on. The come on, the warning PPP will come on. Release your feet from the pedal. Don't press the brake. Don't press. As if there's a mouse running down there, you just lift up your leg. Mm -hmm. Don't press anything. Let the car do its job. Okay? Okay? Mm -hmm. Stay forward. Very stay forward. Trust the car. I mean, I'll pass over to you. I'll go first. When I said go, try to chase after the balloon, okay? Go! Uh, faster, more. come out with an auto braking. Yes, correct. Yeah. It's so scary. <laughs> Another round? Okay. Everyone's get ready. Car number six seems like before. I go first. Oh my god, I'm going to get a heart attack, man. Scary. This is really good, man. Especially for me. Because I always drive fast and suddenly sometimes I think of too many things and I actually didn't aware that my car in front is too slow or it actually pressed on the emergency brakes. Oh, so let me cool down and take a rest first. Guys, check this out. My back fell off. Scary man. 
Alright guys, um, we have uh, ended our test drive session here. Basically, I really really was impressed with a four-wheel drive. Initially, I thought that um, the four-wheel drive is just a very common uh, business uh, car or transport to transport the food, to transport their materials or stuff around. I saw a lot of contractors using it. Lah, so actually, I felt that um, four-wheel drive is just for the construction um, workers or maybe uh, something similar to that. So I didn't realize that um, it was so premium and I really liked all the features here ranging from the interior of all these seats this wheel drive is really really good I love it they have the wireless charger here which is really good because I always running out of battery for my phones you know you know like I shoot a lot of photos and videos through my phones and the reverse sensor thing is really good and what impresses me is the auto braking system it breaks itself like just like that I was so scared at that moment but now I'm really trusting this car that could actually guarantee my safety whenever I'm careless or whenever there's any car approaching me or at the front of me this is a really, really good car I felt that a lot of all these functions right that they're available in this car actually also available in the Mercedes-Benz um, car means that their features here is at par as Mercedes-Benz and it's actually at a fraction of the price of a Mercedes-Benz so if you are a person who really likes to travel around and with a lot of stuff and especially you know travel with families there's a lot of bags and so on sometimes our car cannot actually fit everything into our boot so this one is really good and if you want to go for picnic this is a really good one you can actually set up a camp or at the back of this car and just stay inside the camp so you can stay inside your house like that or maybe you call it a camping area without actually touching the ground at your surrounding so this is uh, something that you can think of if you would like to go for picnic or you are if you are a picnic person bring your family there and then uh, you can actually uh, hang around playing some games at the beaches doing some activities with your families and then stay overnight in your car at the back here with of course a camping camp so at least you are not actually being exposed to winds and also other external uh, dust or maybe uh, all these uh, leaves and so on so I think um, that's all folks for my sharing on my test drive on the Isuzu D-MAX I hope you like what I shared today if you like my video please do press the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell if you haven't already done so so thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye